Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to a match preview. I put it on social media earlier today, do you want to see my match previews come back? This is one for Fulham, it's very sketchy, but I've done my best to get set up in the smallest amount of time possible. Um, but hopefully if you do want to see these come back, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So we've got to start off with Fulham. Uh, star man is Mitch Fitch, we all know that, um, scored one up at Fulham earlier this season. 1-2-1 one, one, that game. Uh, Donkey scored an goal. Uh, we scored a penalty with McAllister, but yeah, still came away with a 2-1 uh, win for Fulham that day. And to be honest, you know, it was more Fulham than us. I think we sat back a bit too much that game, but as Grandpa is the last ever game in charge, so tomorrow is a big day. Forward with Deserdy. So Fulham's last last result out was a 2-0 win over Nottingham Forest. That's not really a big surprise. Um, you know, with the likes of what Fulham are doing, battling up against us, it could really get a really heaving uh, over there with uh, Fulham. Um, you know, it's going to be a really dangerous game tomorrow. Um, if I'm being brutally honest with you, I think Fulham will you know, come at us with, you know, what they got. And um, they did up at Fulham. I sat back a bit, but, you know, tomorrow is a really European spot, uh, place up for grabs. So, um, so, obviously, Brighton's last result out was a 1-1 scoreline against Palace. I'm not blaming um, Sanchez for dropping the ball. Uh, probably blame a bit of the VAR, if I'll be brutally honest, about the last game. But, yet again, if we took more of our chances, we we'll need that VAR or the uh, Sanchez dropping the ball. Will it really matter? So, as I said, I'm not blaming Sanchez for the last um, game, but VAR maybe just a little bit. And obviously, the uh, be really interesting under VAR um, from now, possibly to the end of the season. But changes definitely need to be in place. So the last five games between the two clubs, Fulham have won two at the last five with one draw and two losses. Uh, I think that one draw was against Chelsea. One of their two wins was against Chelsea as well. And they played each other a short space of time between both fixtures. So, you know, you have got that in place as well. Brighton, on the other hand, we got a bit of a better record. And um, if I'm being really honest, we have three wins and two draws. Uh, you know, so it's going to be a really, really interesting game tomorrow um, at the NH Stadium. My match vlog should be up tomorrow as well um, as I'm recording this. Or, you know, maybe Sunday, but it should be up tomorrow. Uh, the best way to keep up to date is to follow me on social media. As well as subscribing to this channel. Alright, so Brighton, ain't, Brighton have not been Fulham in the last five games. A bit of a disappointment in that, if I'm being brutally honest. Um, you know, we haven't beaten them in the last five. Surely a winnable game um, for Brighton to run. It's a must-win game as well, especially if we got a push for Europe. So with all that jargon out of the way, I'm going to give you my starting eleven for the game tomorrow. And I'm going to start off, obviously, with a goalkeeper. And there's only one person to choose. And I have gone with Sanchez. I'm back in the Spaniard. Um, you know, he did make a mistake up at Palace. He did drop the ball, but... You know, mistakes happen, we see it all the time, so I'm still backing him to get back in that goal. And watching the press conference earlier from Robert Deserdi, he's backing him as well. He gave him his full back in his full confidence. So, you know, I'm sticking him in goal. I've gone with three at the back, and as I said, this is a bit last minute, so, you know, it will be more sorted, um, and I should try, I probably will come up with better things as well to show you. But, so in the back I've gone with Webster and um, Cornwell's not available um, I think Lampetic could be on the bench you know we've got Stoke 10 days later and he's already spoken about you know saving the younger ones for Stoke I'd like to see Lampetic in it but I think he'd probably be better if he came on later on in the game Centre back and captain Lewis Dunn. Left back or left wing back, I've gone with uh, Espena. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly. Probably well off the mark. Apologies if I am. So, with that back three in mind, I've gone with the two holding midfielders. I have got the wingers, but 
I've gone with a pretty much Tron Mod Hatch Formation 3, 2, 3, 2. I know it ain't going to work out this way, but that's why I've just got it down on this bit of uh, paper or on the opposite screen as what I'm looking at. So I've gone with McAllister as a holding midfielder, along with Carcedo as another holding midfielder. Why have I gone with these two? To be honest, have we got anyone else who could really hold that midfield? Um, I think Billy Gilmore's on the ball as well. So that's another player loss. No Lallana, um also, so you know we have got that problem to deal with as well. So at the front three, as I said, I know it won't be set out like this. Um, I've gone with Sonny March, obviously goal scoring form. Sonny March, great goal up at Southampton. Um, great goal. Can't remember what game was it. I can't remember what game it was where he scored at home, but perhaps you can put it down in the comments. And I've gone with our German passed on Groves. Um, brilliant German. Let's just hope they can all pay off tomorrow with the three points. On the left, on the right, whatever way you want to call it, I've gone with Matuma. Da, 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 da. Um, so, Matuma, I don't think he had that good a game up at Palace. Um, I'm not sure whether that was because the way they set up or the way the pitch was, or I just don't know, didn't really click um, up at Palace, but hey, we've all moved on since then. But, he still gets in my starting 11 for this game tomorrow, as I said, a big important one. And I've gone with a front two. Now, this is where I had a bit of trouble doing. I probably have gone with the form in midfield, but I went with the same sort of setup that the Serbia's gone with. Over the past three, two games, something like that, um, gone with two up front. So I've gone with Ferguson, first of all. Um, good young Irish player. Um, you know, fair play to. Ferguson, thank God that injury against Liverpool in the FA Cup weren't as bad as what we first thought. And then I've obviously gone with Undav because Welbeck's out as well. So anyway guys, this is my match preview. Guys, you know what to do if you want to see more of these. Give me a big fat thumbs up, subscribe for more, let me know in the comments as well. And I'll catch you guys in a bit. Ciao for now.